Speaker, I rise today to celebrate the 800th anniversary of one of the world's most important documents, the Magna Carta. On June 15, 1215, King John added his seal to the Magna Carta after it was drafted by barons in England who were tired of continued attacks on their freedoms and rights by a tyrannical king. The Magna Carta, which is Latin for the Great Charter, established the rule of law in England and served as an inspiration for the American Revolution and the basis for the Declaration of Independence and our Bill of Rights. As Thomas Paine said in 1776, in free countries, the law ought to be king and there ought to be no other. Mr. Speaker, it seems that far too often our problem is we don't fully understand our history and that's why we stray from it. We are currently dealing with a president who has shown a willingness to change the laws through executive fiat. I believe it is vitally important that we remember the Magna Carta, which is based on the idea that no person, regardless of their position, will ever be above the law. People from all over the world have fought for centuries in order to preserve and defend this basic principle, and that fight can never end. So on this 800th anniversary, I call on this body to remember the Magna Carta and work every day to carry forward the torch of freedom. And I yield back. The gentleman's time.